No matter what's on the menu at Angela Brentlinger's house, there's one thing that's sure to be in the recipe. Garlic, and lots of it. Last night I was making pad thai, and I put in uh, a couple of cloves, three or four cloves of garlic. Uh, we'll always throw in uh, a couple of cloves uh, into most of the things that we make. Part of that is purely for the taste, but mostly it's for the medical benefits. Angela has used garlic for years to fight everything from infections to the flu. And now a new study is adding to the notion that garlic can be a potential cancer fighter as well. Hi there, how's it going? Earl Harrison is a scientist at Ohio State's Comprehensive Cancer Center who helped conduct the study. He says that certain processes in our bodies that have the potential to cause cancer can leave signals of that process in urine. So he and his team developed a urine test to check for two different markers. One shows how much garlic a person recently ate the other shows the level of that potentially cancer-causing process. Our results showed that those were inversely related to one another. That is to say that the more we had the marker for the garlic consumption, the less we had the marker for the risk of cancer. In this study, patients were given pills containing concentrated garlic. Doctors still aren't sure if that's the best way to get garlic's benefits, but they are confident that eating it as a food is a much tastier way. If you like the garlic and you like the garlic containing foods, go out and have as much as you want. There's no indication it's going to hurt you and it may well help you. At Ohio State's Comprehensive Cancer Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.